ladies and gentle mutants, to the inaugural episode of Mutant Bash TV, the greatest show on this weathered old dust ball. Reap the whirlwind, you stubborn console loyalists, and don't adjust your monitors either, because this game is not running on a console. These graphics, these battles, these sadistic carny barkers, they make their home on a tablet. Yeah, you, you still want to argue the iPad isn't a viable gaming platform? This is Rage HD. He's good, folks. This settler boy can shoot like a mother. Yeah, that's right. Rage, id software, mutants, bullets, bloodshed, iPad. And if you're one of those frumpy stalwarts who refuses to accept Apple's fashionable tablet is not only a premier gaming platform, but is also changing the gaming industry, well, step onto the blood-soaked midway with Rage HD and let the makers of Doom introduce you. Gamers, iPad. iPad, gamers, mutant, shotgun to the face. Now make no mistake, this is not the same rage you'll be getting in a few weeks. This is a simplified spin-off that works within the shortcomings of iOS hardware. More specifically, the lack of physical controls. But what makes Rage HD work so well on the iPad is that it embraces those shortcomings and thrives in spite of them. Now, would the game play better with a joypad? Probably, but does it work without one? Absolutely, and well enough to make a convincing argument that the iPad is defined not by what it doesn't have, but by what it does. The game takes you through a bizarre funhouse of sadism, barbarism, and Captain Spaldingism. A carnival where the game is to kill every single target that appears. And after all, they're trying to kill you too. It's a really bizarre premise that allows for some spectacular thematic contrasts. You're shooting monsters that crawl from the ceiling in one room, only to find an audience applauding your efforts with cheers and confetti in the next, as if the blood you've been spilling is nothing more than drops of water from the clown dunking booth. So presentation is clearly one of the game's strengths, and in no area is that more evident than the technical. Rage HD just looks stunning on the iPad, and apart from an occasional stutter, it also runs extremely well. But more importantly, how do you actually play it? Well, the game is on rails, so movement is automatic. Now, there are virtual buttons on the right side of the screen, each with a different function. You're using one hand to control these buttons and the other to aim, which is done simply by dragging your finger on the touchscreen. And it feels a little awkward at first, but the control scheme quickly becomes second nature. And again, would a mouse or even a Wii remote be more precise? Yeah, absolutely. But honestly, I'm not sure a thumbstick would be. So the game plays surprisingly well, it looks even better, and here's the best thing. Rage HD is only gonna cost you $1.99. For some context here, a standard 3DS game costs 20 times more than this, and frankly, I've played very few 3DS games this fun or this polished. I'm telling you, the handheld scene is changing, and games like this, they're at the forefront. Now again, this isn't the same experience you'll get when Rage releases in a few weeks, but if you're into arcade shooters like Time Crisis or House of the Dead, this game is an easy recommendation. It's short, it's simple, and frankly, that's the point. Rage HD is both a throwback and an example of innovation and smart development. And for that, Man, this game is definitely worth the change in your pocket. This episode of Mutant Bash TV is brought to you by the letter M. M for murderous mazes, mobbed with mutants, mirth, mayhem, and mm, most of all, massacre. <laughs>